Hello everyone, my name is Justin Ortayi. I'm the new analyst and coach for Vexer Esports of the Rainbow Six Siege Division, and let's get into these questions, shall we? Like I said, my name is Justin, I'm a California Bay Area native, and I've lived there my whole life. I have been gaming since I was roughly the age of 10, and that was on the PlayStation 2, playing games like Battlefront 1, 2, Ratchet and Clank, and the LEGO games. Although I don't think my gaming career really started until I was around the age of 12 when I played World of Warcraft. Where did I start my coaching career? I like to think that my coaching career started in two separate places, or at least was fostered in two separate places. When I was growing up in high school and middle school, I was an athlete. I did swimming and water polo, and that meant I was spending up to 16 hours swimming back and forth, back and forth. And swimming for those many hours, that many times, five days a week, that taught me the importance of discipline and the basics and fundamentals that are extremely important in order to be able to become a capable athlete in any situation. As for my Siege career, I have been playing as soon as I picked up the game back during the first DLC season of Rainbow Six Siege. The moment I started to begin the basics, I started helping out other players and have been and tried to be a shining example and positive example for the community. Do I have a favorite pro coach and why? My favorite pro coach would have to be one of the first pioneering coaches of Rainbow Six Siege. You gotta keep in mind that when he first started coaching, this role wasn't all too common, and that was Bacon, who now coaches for Dark Zero Esports. And I like to think that the coach is one of the most easily overlooked, but most important and underrated roles on any roster. What is my favorite Rainbow Six Siege clip? Well, I have a clip actually here for you right now that we take a look at. So back then I had changed my name to a sort of joke name. Uh, it was Blame Tay Tay. Uh, the inside joke is that it's my fault a lot of times, so blame Ty. Um, the part where Tay Tay comes in is I was playing with someone and instead of saying Ty, they would call me Tay Tay. I'm not sure why, but I kind of found it endearing, so I changed it to that. So most of this clip is going to be from another streamer's perspective. I wasn't recording or streaming at the time, so it's going to be from their perspective. And let's just, uh, let's just sit back, take a look at this, okay? <laughs> you did a terrible job of helping me, Tay Tay. Tay has one no, HP. <laughs> I did it. You knifed someone? Good job. You knifed He's cab? in the objective. <gasps> he got two of them. How do you ever knife a cab? What cab is that bad? <gasps> I need back up. He's right there in front of you, Tay Tay. Oh my god. That's a 3k. Oh my god. What the fuck? That would have been an ace. That would have been a nice ace. Oh my god. That was beautiful. <laughs> That was so beautiful. Oh Tay Tay, sign my mouse pad, please. No. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm sure you know why or see why that's one of my favorite clips. It's just me getting a 4K. It might have been in casual, but it was still a lot of fun. Uh, just running around being stupid and getting knives instead of playing like how you'd normally play Rainbow Six. Uh, I think <laughs> one of the best ways to play Rainbow Six is just to have fun. So how did I get my in-game name? I I've had several in-game names throughout the years. My most recent and longest enduring one goes by Tai Yi, and I think I've had that since I was ooh, sometime in high school, so it's quite a while ago. But I'll go through the history of how I eventually came to this name. It's not an exactly a transition, more like several different names almost totally unrelated to each other. So the first one I picked is JJ Rules Crayon. And the reason for that was because I liked the sound of having the first and last initial be the same. So you got JJ. Um, of course, that's not my actual initials. Uh, no part of my name makes JJ. But I always liked the sound of it. It, it was kind of like uh, the whole Marvel thing where you have Peter Parker, Bruce Banner, uh, heroes and characters like that. Those always found intriguing. So I went with that, and uh, the reason it's rules is because I 10 or 11 at the time. What, what do you expect from someone that age, right? And uh, the reason it's Crayon is because uh, I was playing War a Warhammer 40k game known as Dawn of War. And one of the maps that you can play, at least in the actual board game version, or the tactical board game version, is uh, was called Battle of McCrag, and it kind of almost sounds similar to Crayon, so I went with that. Uh, the next 
in-game name I would use is This is an Alt, and that comes from World of Warcraft, where I started becoming a real gamer, I would guess. Uh, or I would say. Um, back then, an Alt is like an uh, is another character that you would make. It's not your main, but it's one that you spend some time on. Uh, almost like what the term Smurf means nowadays. I chose that, it was kind of ironic, I stuck with it, but eventually it, there came a time where I needed a proper and different in-game name. So being the totally creative person that I am, I took the uh, shortened middle name and my last name and I put them together in order to get Tai Yi. So nowadays, most people, they just call me Tai. Alright, what are my plans for the team? My plan for this team is in order to take is to take it to new heights. Uh, what, the way we're doing that is going back to the drawing board essentially. Already we've made several new strategies for multiple different maps. And I don't want to reveal or say too much, but in the coming weeks, this team will play like a whole different team. In fact, already tonight after tonight's practice, we, we pretty much look like a different team. Um, like I said, I'll spare you the details, mostly because I don't want to reveal too much of my hand, but we're starting to look really good already. It's just been a few days, but it's coming together. What would you like to accomplish in the long term with the team? In the long term, I want to take this team and make them better coordinated and unlock the full potential of all the players. Uh, the reason I do this role isn't necessarily for my own fulfillment. It'd be great to see this team uh, someday this roster or some form of it get into the challenger league or maybe even unbelievably to me at least at this moment uh the pro league uh i think we can get there someday it'll take a lot of work grinding and effort but if we put in the time we'll get there there are some tournaments you would like to compete in with a team to be honest, we're going to compete in just about any and all the tournaments that we can. Uh, anything that abides to the general pro league rules that are used today. I don't want to participate in any tournament that's a little different or very wildly different. Um, I can't think of many tournaments that do that, but we're going to we're going to roll in all the tournaments that we can and we're going to win these things. But thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take it easy.